Well, we're right in the middle of Syria. Russia's military has taken us far, to, far out into the desert, at least a four-hour trip by convoy, and they've brought us to a recently liberated town called Akrabat and showed us something quite, uh, quite remarkable. It is an ISIS tank factory, is what they're telling us. This is a place they discovered two weeks ago when this uh, village was, was uh, won back from ISIS. And here you can see the wrecks of... Um, many old tanks including what they're telling us about this one here this tank which doesn't have a turret they're saying was a suicide tank and it could be packed full of explosives and then set to go off the driver would set it to go off and it could uh, create an enormous explosion around 300 meters or so uh, they believe as many as 35 uh, ISIS people were working in this uh, in this factory. Many of the, the tank bodies themselves are actually old Russian tanks, probably um, either captured or stolen from the Syrian army. They're suggesting that this is a, a very major find for them. As many as 49 ISIS tanks were destroyed uh, in the battle to uh, free this community. Um, we've been traveling around Syria for the past week with the Russian military. They've been trying to demonstrate the various uh, ways that they're involved in Syria from a humanitarian point of view to dealing with the restoration of uh, former landmarks. Uh, but today is a, really a focus on, uh, on, on the military side of things. We can still, in fact, hear uh, mortar shells going off. The ISIS troops are only about two kilometers away. Uh, but according to the Russians, uh, this was a very big find for them. Chris Brown, CBC News in Atarbat, Syria.